Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good morning, lads, lasses, and minority folk. How are we all feeling today? Feeling chipper? Feeling spry? Feeling like, is this gonna work? Yes, it is. Way! Feeling ready to buy and sell f convenience store fried chicken? I certainly am. In fact, I ate some this morning, just before the stream began. Breakfast of champions. Heart issues. Incarnate. Fried chicken. <laughs> yes. I realized I wouldn't have much time, so I may as well play this game. I wasn't actually going to stream today, then I realized, oh, actually, no, I... I have a job that I have to do, and it starts soon, so... <laughs> I probably should get around to this now, rather than later. I will see, won't we? Yes, hello, Jay Hank. How are you? Early as always. I was going to do something funny. Give me a moment. See if I can pull it off. I really... I really thought I did a really good job with uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> you know who's on your thumbnail? It looks like you, but isn't you? Oh, mysterious, isn't it? And here I thought I'd just put a picture of myself. What could have ever happened? How frightening. Some void into the unknown. Some being unknown to us all. Point is, I thought I was just about to mention that. <laughs> it is an interesting little glitch, isn't it? Ooh. The one I posted was just of me, smiling. But for some reason, for some strange reason. Something seems to have infected the screen. Certain so, analog holos is, yes. I know the one. Mandela catalog. Correct? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Don't worry. I'm aware. What I'm trying to do... Is see if I cannot recreate that same effect. Okay. Let's so yes, but how have you been doing since we last chatted just mere hours ago yesterday? <laughs> mere twenty-four hours ago. So I actually last night was gonna go to bed early. But I got distracted watching one of my own streams, would you believe it? I got distracted watching my Everwood stream. I was, uh, really- sorry, I'm concentrating on something. I'm trying to do something stupid. But yes, I was distracted watching my own Everwood stream. I watched probably about 40 minutes of it. That game was really fun. I really liked the music, especially the mad- how mad the music got to the at the end of it. Wish she was dressed more like the feet who were watching his Elden Ring stream. Wish she was dressed as Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now. Perfect. One more moment. This stupid thing I'm trying to do is almost done. Have a bit of more patience. Watching live on air as I make a joke that probably isn't worth it. Or something spooky that probably isn't worth it. But, you know, gonna guys make you feel some sort of chill in the middle of April. Unless it is particularly cold in winter where you in early spring where you are, but...
Nah. Argentina is freezing right now. Fair enough. Um, I'm almost there. There we are. Looks a bit derpy, but you know what? We'll export it anyway. It's not, it's, well, for Australia, it's pretty cold in Japan, to be entirely honest with you. I've been experiencing that most worrying of culture shocks. The culture shock of just being cold. When everyone else is like, oh, it's always like this from X, Y, and Z place in the north of the bloody universe. These damn Europeans and North Americans and bloody... Welsh people always hanging out in their cold places. It's frankly rude. Frankly rude. Okay, now I'm almost done. I swear I'm almost done. Okay, I need to turn this on. Excuse me. Yep, okay, good. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Maybe make it slightly smaller. Um. How about that? Hey, eh? <laughs> looks a bit derpy, but hey, eh, it'll work. How about that, eh? Spooky. <laughs> I don't have a very spooky voice, but I need like a distortion or something. Like, ooh, I... welcome to the stream. <laughs> Sound like a really unconfident person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn. Kire Sutlut. Stretnmu. Sutlut is Sutlut. Totoyu did it. That's how I speak now. I can't believe I managed to get this to happen, actually. I wasn't expecting this to work so well. Speaks in auto tune. <laughs> now, if I was smart, I would have <laughs> floats off my face. That's very funny. I would have, uh, you know, figured out some sort of audio interference that I could put onto my own voice. It's not like I can't. I could try. I could compress it to everything. But... Who knows? Let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh well. If I was smart, if I was smart. But, unfortunately, I am not. So. All the idea for Halloween, yeah. Well, you know what? We'll just pop it off for now. Get my face back. We'll just be normal spooky. Actually, we'll be normal today. You know what? We're going to be normal for this horror stream. A rare thing, I know. 
We're going to be normal today. Anyway. Let's actually get into this game, shall we? <laughs> but yes. No, um... Speaking of convenience stores, they are really quite convenient. Uh, in Japan, it's it's worrying how much you can get in them. You can get your bloody socks in your bloody convenience stores. You can also get fried chicken, which is awful. It's at least it tastes like real chicken. You know, you get some fried chicken. It's like the chicken nuggets, fried chicken. It's just like this feels like fried mints that they've turned into a chicken shaped object at least the fried chicken and the you know convenience stores feel like it has the actual oh i can tell that this is made of actual chicken sort of thing you can feel that when you bite into it you know, it separates like a normal chicken it's just quite nice but there's other interesting things there a lot of sweets actually a lot of sweet breads and a few worrying looking pre-made hot dogs Wow, I don't think I'll ever have the courage to eat one of those. Those things look awful. They're frighteningly awful. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm gonna be normal today. Three Doritos later. Okay, hear me out. Do you want to have... It is... It is one of those names for cocktails, isn't it? You can just throw it at any point and people not listening to a conversation will suddenly be incredibly interested in what you're talking about. I'll be sitting there talking about cocktails and I'll always just talking about cocktails, I'm not interested in that. And then suddenly... Boom! I say, oh, I'm gonna make a sex on the beach and all they hear is sex on the beach and they're like, Ooh, I'm interested in this now, what are we talking about? <laughs> But yes, it is one of those names. It's like coffee and cigarette. The opposite, the opposite of a sex on the beach cocktail name. As the opposite effect is coffee and cigarettes. I feel like that's the complete opposite name. I feel like that really stops people from being interested. Like, whoa, that sounds awful. Eating an ashtray and drinking coffee? Wow, didn't know we were 1950s gentlemen. But yes, mm, good times. Really is one of those things. Speaking of, alcohol. God, alcohol is convenient here. It's at convenience stores, like massive bottles. Granted, they don't have the greatest range. It's just your classic stuff, your Maker's Mark, your Suntory whiskey, cheap version. Maybe a bottle of Sui Gin. Uh, but point is, there's enough there that if you wanted to make cocktails and you ran out of a particular thing, <laughs> chastity on a building. That is true. And somebody has to make a cocktail. That sounds like a spectacular cocktail. I don't know what it would taste like, but then again, I didn't know what a sex on the beach would taste like, but apparently it's because of its color, not its taste. The color of yellow with red on top, because red is associated with Adult times. I don't know why I decided to censor myself, though. I don't know why I need to be weird about that. We're all adults here, I think. Point is, it's all about the colouring. So I feel like chastity on a building would be like a white and a grey cocktail, which doesn't... Honestly, I think it should be chastity on a mountain. I feel like they're more opposites. Buildings are technically opposite of a beach. But I feel like mountains are more directly opposed. So I feel like chastity on a mountain would be better. Which then you could do green. Mmm, tastes like cement. I just don't think I'd, I'd know anything that goes grey. Like, you can make grey quite easily just by putting a heap of food colouring together, but that's that's no fun. It's all about making the, the cocktail with, you know, not cheating. Uh, <laughs> So I feel like chastity on a mountain would be better. And I don't know what the colour of chastity is. What is the colour of chastity? The colour of the red light district is the colour of sex on the beach. But what's the colour of chastity? White? Brown because it's the cross? <laughs> Maybe black and white like a nun? 
they're supposed to be chased. Supposed to be. I'm aware that it's not always the way things go. Oh, I'm clapping. I don't know why my models decided I can clap today. Am I... Cutter with nature. City is the total disconnection with the earth. I suppose you're true. But I was more thinking, not that conceptually. Perhaps you're you're thinking much more high and mighty than I am, clearly. I was thinking more just... What is the natural opposite of a beach? It's a mountain. <laughs> mountains are defined about... Are defined about, you know... Mountains get defined by how far they are away from sea level most of the time, so... I thought that was a rather appropriate thing, but yes, fair enough. If you're trying to get complete conceptual opposite, yes, on top of a building. On top of the Burj Khalifa would probably be good enough. But, you know, I feel like both are reasonable things to say. Uh, for the opposite of a sex on the beach cocktail. Um... If I ever wanted YouTube to recommend anything of mine, I guarantee you this stream is not going to be it. <laughs> I've said that word about a hundred times, so definitely not going to work out for me. Point is, great stuff for cocktails and uh, thing, but you still have to go to liquor stores. And shockingly enough, all the liquor stores I went to, not a single one of them had bitters. Like Angus Store of Bitters. I don't know if you know much about alcohol, everyone, but... Angus Store of Bitters were everywhere on Australia. You couldn't go two feet without tripping over the stuff. But here, it was, it was like the holy bloody grail I had to order off Amazon. Which is not that difficult, because you can apparently order everything off Amazon. If you want a firstborn child, you can probably order it off Amazon in Japan. Having trouble sleeping, you can probably order a Pitman off Amazon. And then you could test out the full, uh, the, uh, premium version of sleep. Point is, bit bizarre. Didn't expect it. Who would have thought? There was a few other things that were interesting that got off Amazon. Did I end up getting the Campari off Amazon, or did I buy that in person? Point is, everything's ridiculously cheap. See, I was looking through it, and... I could easily, you know, for those streams, I did a few cocktail streams, if I remember correctly. Those streams cost me hundreds of dollars to buy the alcohol I needed to do those streams. Granted, I always had those alcohol for the next six months, but here, you know, I could probably do the same stream for half the price, if not more, which is ridiculous, ridiculous. No wonder everyone here has a problem with alcoholism. It's strange that they all drink beer and highballs when they could just go to a liquor store and make a hundred beers and highballs. But I suppose alcohol in stores is too pretty cheap. It was quality alcohol, though. It was. It's quality alcohol here, too. Though, some of the, hilariously enough, a lot of the real quality stuff isn't too different in price. <laughs> Things like your Lafroy's and your, your Lagavulin's are pretty close to the same price. Lagavulin is the same price, in fact. Even converted, which is interesting. But most other things are, you know, a fifth of the price they are in Australia. It's The problem is I can't get a lot of the Australian stuff here. There's no way I'll be able to access the weirder Australian gins or the strange Australian vodkas and liqueurs, unfortunately. So, I'll have to get my family to send some of those bottles over to me. I'm pretty sure you can. Poked alcohol? Don't know. If, they can't, if we can't, I'll just help pay for somebody else's baggage and they can bring the bottles over in a bag. I believe if they bring less than two, two 750 mil bottles, they'll let it through. So it should be fine. But yeah, things like Hunter, Hunter Valley distilleries, liqueurs were quite nice. And the Seven Seasons gin, vodka, and I never got to try that coffee and honeydew. Not honeydew. Coffee and honey nut. 
Maybe I'll get them to bring that over next time. Ah, well. Less talking about alcohol, more playing the convenience store. I think we've been talking for 20 minutes. Let's jump over to the right screen. Um, load in. Look at the convenience store. Beautiful, love it. Love this very, very in-depth uh, screen. Oh, I didn't even talk about the drink. I was too busy talking about drinks. I didn't talk about the drink. This is Craft Boss. Look at these pipe. Nineteen ninety-two fruits tea. Aru, Arutsumi, Arutsumiku, Suti. I don't know what Arutsumiku is. But Arutsumiku, Suti. I'm sure it means something reasonable. Either it's English and I'm not understanding what the English is, or it's French or something, and that's entirely possible. I do like their French. Tea to play, what kind of mad world is this? Most of the teas we've had are in plastic bottles, actually. It's because they're cold. Not all of the convenience stores have hot tea, but maybe it's because the season's changing. They've got rid of all the hot tea because the idea is it's not going to be hot that much longer. It's not going to be cold that much longer, so... Hot tea is the reasonable assumption to make. But yes, it is a bit of a mad world. I'm also expecting this game to be dead silent. Uh, this is a bit awkward. Um, I feel like I should change the effects back. If I was smart, I would have got this like, part-time hat, but... Oh well, let's go. <gasps> Whoa, somebody's fiddling with the VCR. Come on, mate. Oof. Ding, doom. It's time. Hmm? Need to get ready for work at the convenience store. Ah, oh, what a quaint little place. Uh, Slept well. Oh my god, I have a voice. Frightening. Oh. A bit interesting. But I suppose they're living in this place on a part-time job, so I can't imagine it would be that much. Granted, most of this tech actually looks very... 90s. So, I'd imagine this apartment would cost cheap as chips. What do you... Like, you could probably get a better apartment for the same price last. Oh, God, this place looks awful. What kind of horrid situation are you in, Lars, that you have to live in a place like this? Good God. Wow, I have not seen a design of kitchen like this in a very long time. Goodness. Gas stove with that stuff. Whoa. What a blast from the bloody past. I haven't seen anything except induction for probably the last 15 to maybe even 20 years at this point. What's this about? Oh, can I step out into the balcony? Oh, that's the convenience store I'm working at, I assume. That bright line. They aren't really that bright. Can't miss them from a mile away, certainly. Cannot miss them. There we go. Get changed. Get yourself into that Lawson... Uh, Legally distinct from Lawson's uniform, that, that, uh, uh, outlaw daughter. <laughs> yep, there we're going. What do I need? Oh, you need something. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. I limited the uh, frame rate of this game, but... Okay, we need to turn this quality off. What is going on here? But turn that camera effect off. Good bloody god, my eyes. 
Wow, suddenly it looks like a Unity game. Um, do you like the... Uh, Do you rather effect on or off? Effects on or off, everyone. I've turned the effects off because it was literally killing my head, but... Why is the performance of this game so awful? Like, all the VA should put my eyes, dude. <laughs> Suddenly, I can see clearly now the VHS is gone. Boo doo boo. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Why is the performance dropping so terribly when I look? What does Voldemort like to? Oh wow. Okay. Doesn't really help with the uh, shadow quality disable. Hmm. Mm. I always had the issue. Glad this person is in the 90s and they don't have bloody Wi Fi. Eat Vendor. Nom 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 nom. Oh, this looks like a Yu game. It's almost like, hmm, it is. <laughs> strange. How very strange. Well, it's just amazing what a little or what a little visual effects can do to a game, eh? It's 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 spectacular that I can turn a Unity Look as I turn a Unity game. To a cool indie horror game. Whoa! Look at that! Ooh, magic! It's like I turned this Unity game into a cool, trendy indie horror game. Whoa! You have two fridges. Why do you have two fridges, Lass? Um, maybe one's just a freezer? My eyes are screaming. Wow! They asked to be released from this pain. Spectacular. This is a strange apartment. Ah. Close the door. Let's close the door. What a bizarrely designed apartment. Mm, probably built in the bloody 80s when they had money and had no sense. Hmm. Japanese towns do really look like this some of the time. I have seen random... Just like corrugated iron sheds on stilts. I'm not too sure what they're for, to be entirely honest. So, no, this this does seem... This does match what I've seen. Maybe this is just a country town thing. I am in the middle of nowhere. They're like IRL labyrinths. They are quite confusing sometimes. Japanese towns are quite confusing. Well, the one I'm in, at least, is a bit windy. Ooh. Random, absolutely tiny houses. Are there secrets to find around town? Anyone? Oh. Though, I don't understand the giant wall around this town, to be entirely honest. It kind of looks like we're stuck in, um... A, a concentration camp. Uh, to apologize for the uh, comparison, but it it's a bit bizarre. Giant walls aren't something that I've experienced. Unless that wall is for... Oh no, the stairs! How the hell am I supposed to get down now? At least I love the beacon of light that is the convenience store over there. <laughs> the absolute beacon. Do, 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 do. But yes, clever way of hiding the fact you don't have a very long render distance. But, uh, does look a bit weird. Having giant walls surrounding the properties. I feel like I'm in some sort of Truman sort of experiment. But I understand this is one of their earlier games. This is the game that really blew up and put them on the map, isn't it? How the hell do I get down? Am I stupid? That's entirely possible, but am I? Uh, 
Hello! Help me, I'm trapped up this ridge. Out there. I am stupid, don't worry. And, uh... But yeah, so it doesn't surprise me that, at least these days, the Chiller's Art Fellows have become a lot better at hiding their tiny little maps. With barriers and the like, but it feels more re I feel like they've got a lot better at making towns, especially in the one we played, the karaoke. I think had a very impressive feeling to it. I think they made a very good job of the town section when you were wandering through the town. It, it did have that weirdness that a lot of older towns have. Even in Australia, the sort of windiness of old towns. Hello? Ding dong, ding dong. Why is the performance so terrible? I'm pretty sure I limited the performance so it wouldn't be having trouble, but never mind. It's about the efficiency of a bloody stretched hummer. Yeah, so I think this one put it on put them on the map, didn't it? This was kind of like the one that put them here. Oh, random creek, a canal, classic. And the convenience store in the middle of a field. You would think this is weird, but I'm pretty sure nearby me there is a convenience store that looks worryingly similar to this one. Sort of in the middle of a massive car park. This one has an ominous forest behind it, though. So, a bit different. Walked past it at night time. It was great. I, warned, I was called to warn you all. All right. By the name I cannot speak of. The Day of Judgment will come! Definitely not Lawson's. No, it's not Lawson's. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a outlaw daughter. It's not Lawson, it's outlaw daughter. What's better, criminal daughter. Maybe we'll go with that. Or crime? Crime daughter? Crime daughter. Because it's Lawson, crime daughter. Yeah! Or maybe the opposite of law is anarchy, so maybe be anarchy daughter. I suppose... It Depends on what kind of uh, belief you subscribe to. So, 13 bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. Give, let's do a quicker uh, conversion. I'm going to assume this is the 90s sometimes. So, and I'm assuming 13 bucks is an American bucks. So, USD to AUD. Um, Oops, sorry. I disappeared for a moment there. I was looking at inflation, by the way. I realize you're probably all very confused why I disappeared.
But uh, we, I went and figured out uh, some inflation stuff. Um, it was uh, about the pay per hour in US dollars is about 25 these days. Oh no, it's angry. Um, did I press the angry button? But yes, uh, no, I was so curious. I was laughing about it. I was like, how much is 13 US dollars an hour? And these days it would be about 20 Australian, close to 20, which is a, an entry level position in Australia. But buying power, something that's $13 US in 1990, which is about when I went from, which, that's what I'm assuming this is. This seems very 90s. Um, turns out. It's about 25 US dollars, so... If you were paid an equivalent amount these days, which you wouldn't be because this is the modern age, of course you wouldn't be paid an equivalent amount to match inflation, but if you were, it would be about 25 US dollars, which is a lot of money. Because yeah, I, I, I'm so confused by things, I just blinked and suddenly everything had large numbers next to it. It's true that when I was younger, it's, you know, Hell, Australia didn't even use dollars for a fair bit of the time. Still pounds and shillings. But yes, this guy going, oh god, you got here. Oh, it's just I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. You, my friend, are a cheeky little sod, aren't you? Down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. Oh, you're just an, you're just an ass, aren't you? Think you're being funny, don't you, bloody Hayes and the new girl? Only this was a true story. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry. Yeah, you better be. You better be bloody sorry, mate. So. Okay. Time to clock in. Get me my pay slip. Get my pay stub. Oh, an old punch card. Wow. Your manager. Ah, oh, wow. Come on, mate. He's running fast. He's running away faster. Come on. Lazy bastard. Get back here. Wait. Time to get the spied food off the shelves. By Austin Lee magazines. Ooh, look at him. Good looking boy, eh? Oop, random anime girl. Why do I feel like these are all supporters somehow? Mark Hart. Jean. Luca Jean? I don't know what that is going on. I, I, my... Upcoming! My... Yes. Ah, oh, back to working. Magazine. Ah. Yes, that would make sense. I got it right the first time. You see, that's the hard thing about this. I really am awful at kind of getting that sort of... Katakana is surprisingly difficult just because words can be really annoying to figure out. Yes, I know. I need to put it outside, but I need to... I'm just gonna stand here. I'm loving the slow motion. I like how we're all walking through bloody molasses. All right, mate. How are you? Want some trash? Shh! Don't tell anyone. You know how these corporations are. They own even their expired food, and they're determined to keep it. I hope 
don't give him the expanded food that's gonna make him terribly ill, but you know. That's the thing, isn't it? Um Why is there a bar here? I haven't seen that any of the conveners. I've seen seating areas where you could Oh, that looks up. Is that the homeless guy? Side of this is must be the homeless guy. Yep, I'm coming. You're off for sure that's all. Yeah, I know. Um Bloody annoying. Any way back here to turn off the alarm or something? What is this CCTV anyway? Hmm. No, whoops. Oh, it doesn't appear to be any inside the store. Let's just stop with that. I'm sure there's a ghost somewhere, but we're not going to look at it. I'll never tell. Because I'll never see it. That's right. Now, the drinks section of this, my vocal things, isn't nearly that impressive. Goodness. Oh, that looks fun. It's really funny, though. I was walking on a walk nearby, and I saw that sort of, like, yellow tape all over a swing set, actually. I don't know if this... I don't think it was the police yellow tape, but it, it was this sort of yellow tape, and I laughed at it, because it... Seemed a bit ridiculous to cover it in yellow tape, but I guess maybe it was dangerous. It just looked very spooky, and this old set of apartment blocks was this... Was this, like, little swing covered in yellow tape. It was quite frightening. I'll give it that. <laughs> if I was walking past the night time, you could make a real good horror out of it. I do love the fact they have a little... Sushi section? That's hilarious. Thank you, choice. <laughs> Wait. Oh, hello. Oh, I know this delivery company. Chip to the store. Oh, matches your name tag. I think it's a view. Um, why would somebody send me a package? See, he's from that, um, there's a, I think they're called Yamada or something? There is a delivery company in Japan with a cat carrying a, a cat carrying a kitten in its mouth. And it's too, yeah, and it has a very similar style to that. Take me home, country roads. Look! Wow, you can really see the convenience store from everywhere, can't you? I guess I put my food in there. So what did I get? A VHS, eh? Let's pop it into the old player. <laughs> my expired food. <laughs> yeah, got taken out, but... I didn't trash it, I just ate the stuff. <laughs> Um, okay. Watch closely. I, I wouldn't want to be watching Farley, I suppose. Okay. Do not cross. Hide and I, they could have say. Do not enter. Please. At least the sign is being polite. Like that. Okay. Well, that seemed reasonable. Let's go. Let's head on to all the prep stuff. Grab the flashlight and head back. Off we go. Oh, they skipped the whole walk. Thank God. 
post not. Oh no, they don't. Never mind. Why is this so much darker than before? It wasn't this dark, right? Maybe, maybe that was our first shift. The idea is we were so doing an earlier shift in the day, but I do not remember it being this dark. Good God. Where did the lights go? We turned the bloody lights out, did they? The street light is doing nothing. It is pitch black. Half expecting, it's so dark, I'm half expecting a baseball player to start throwing balls. Because it's pitch black. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Someone did pay the light bill. Yeah, for the bloody Lawsons. Or crime daughter. Apparently didn't pay for light bill for anyone else. Or then. Or then. Hey, so I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensors. Seems like things were rotting loose. Oh, he thought it was some kind of poltergeist. I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Go sound real, after all. Why do I feel like you're going to die? Well, this is my... I hope it's ghosts, to be entirely honest, because then at least we'd have the first time where we've had a young girl on... A young lady on a night shift somewhere and not being murdered by a person. That would be nice. Real change of pace. Rats. Garbage have been open. Dang. I saw the note. Off he goes. Man, he's out of there quick. Do we have some rat away or something? Some ricin. Oop. There we are. Ricin. Oh, it's just like, I don't, I, to be entirely honest with you, Lars, I don't think that's how rat poison works, but all right. These are some very chill rats. Even the rats are chill in Japan. Oh, a car's turning up, I think. Or oh, leaving. Oh, that must be our friend. Evaporate the rats. Yeah, this isn't rat poison. This is rat evaporator. This is literally rat away. Away with you, rat. Oh, there was a rat somewhere in there. I didn't realize that. Just press, and eventually we'll get all the rats. Just, I'm exiting them from existence. These rats better be afraid of me. Come back for you, floating rat poison. Yeah, yes, I'm covered. Excuse me. Magazine. Magazine. <gasps> Austin Lee. Oh, hello, Laz. Buns. Thank you, man. Or Susume, his recommendation, his choice. Potato, potato chips. Oh my goodness, I... To be honest, I wouldn't buy a packet of green potato chips. That sounds like a great way to die of poisoning. Oh, potatoes. Do this weird blue arctic chip they've got going here. But then again, you those American there. I know the Americans have a bloody... Oh my goodness, this old lady has psychic powers! But we have a much more advanced toilet than I thought we did in the 90s. Where are you, rat? I'm about to rat you away. Where is this last rat? Ah. 
snake into the bunker. Done. We've removed six rats from existence. I hope the others take it as a lesson. We are not so as kind. We are not as kind as Lawson's. We do not merely kill rats with traps and poisons. We evaporate them from existence with the power of rat away. Yep, cool dude. Yes, Mr. Please fetch me. Five cans of beer to pack of cigars. Wow. Don't say that. What a real garbage person. Let's give him the shittest beer we've got. Hope these are all flat and all they blow up in your face. <laughs> Didn't I pick up some beer? Do I have to get them one by one? Are you serious? Can't be serious. Wait, what happened? Is this glitched? It's entirely possible it might be glitched. Oh, I dropped them on the floor. Oh wow, I have to do this one at a time. God. Well, actually, no, never mind. More power to you, lass. Do exactly what he asked, but incredibly slowly. That's perfect, lass. This will really show him. Yeah. You know what would have been faster, mate? If you just got these yourself. Or at least help me. Do, 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 do. Or oh, suck it. You love the very obvious reference to real products instead of us are here to you here. I'm sure, that's a clever pun of some kind. It is dry though, still dry. There you go, mate. Hand sanitize. Thank you? Absolutely not. Do not thank that person. They do not deserve your thanks. Oh, and he parked like a bloody bastard as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> what an absolute piece of work. Are they paying with their phones? Yeah, apparently. This is very modern. Thank you, thank you. Are you paying with their phones, which is incredibly modern? Don't you hate when rats jump out of the garbage and knock the bin over? I don't know what I was doing, but yes. This monitor also, this is a very confusing series of things. See, this is a very thin monitor. And I understand the answer is, but the old punch card system, that's quite old. I don't think I've seen a punch card. Most of it's digital these days. FNAF Bloom plays loudly. It's hilarious how mixed this feels, period wise. Automatic doors, but. I suppose they existed for a while. Oh, hello, lass. All right, lady. Jeez. Old birds feeling a bit confused. Nope, that must be the old lady leaving, probably. Ew, she did to the bathroom. Well, yeah, that's... 
That is old people. God, mate. Okay, we need to put some more on those bloody things. Jesus. Ah, oh, the darkness. No, I'm locked out of the store. Lovely. Well, I don't need to bother cleaning the floor, even though that's probably one of my jobs, but, uh, you know what? Not my problem. I dealt with the rats. Who's up? Oh, for God's sake, you didn't fix the damn wiring at all. It's that damn elevator all over again. It bloody coals. What's going on? What the hell is that? Wait. There's a child. Not in my store there won't be. Where are you, child? I'll get after you. Come on. Not in my store there won't be a bloody child. Wait. Mate. Bloody ding-dong ditching little bastard. Oh, a truck. I don't even think that town could fit truckers. I suppose maybe you went off the main highway and came to this town, but... What's that? Whatever it is, it's a lot of them. Cat food, right next to the... gloves and the... no idea. Oh, hello, sir. What's up, sir? Are you in the delivery company? Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend of order anything online. Maybe this is early 2000s, maybe 90s. Ah, package. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that. When did you apparate into existence? There you go, have fun. I'm sure it's not a, a head or something like that. Who knows, maybe our the fellow working before us is a murderer. That's bad. Oof. Well done, time to fall unconscious. How is it? I'm ready. Little bottles of beer, tobacco. Good, nice, delicious buns. Oh, dang it, what open door? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, you were right. <laughs> Second night. Oh, it's raining. It's been raining here for the last few days, actually. Been a right pain. Somebody bloody knocking on my door at this time of night. What is this door? Mysterious. Maybe this is a shared space. Maybe there's another apartment next to mine. Wow, that fellow with ran away as fast as he possibly could. I don't think he could have run any faster if he tried. Hey, VCR. Maybe it is 2000s. Could be 2000s. What is going on here? Why am I yawning so much? The, you know, beautiful sounds of rain are really... Oh, okay. 
That's the umbrella. Oh, you've got the umbrella open inside, Lass. It's bad luck, don't you know? Goodness, Lass. Bad luck. Yes, I'm not closing the room door to my apartment. This town's probably suffered so terribly from depopulation. I don't think there's enough people in this town to steal anything from me. Speed! Apartment is somebody's garden. No. No. I was running a bit through the rain last night too to get to a convenience store. It was very cold. Didn't have my jacket. I'm like a fool. Shortcut. Way shortcut. Way. Speedy. Mm -hmm. So mate, the homeless man here. A map should do it would be convenient. Yes, it would be, wouldn't it? Guess he's finished earlier tonight. Or left. <sighs> boo! Yeah, boo! No fun. Stupid man. <laughs> this is the absolute click of my tongue. Yeah, you think you're funny, don't you, you weedy little bastard, do eh? I know your games. You got me good, eh? You almost got a good right hook to the face. That's what you almost got. Fine, I'll stop. You better not. I promise I won't do it again. Oh. Can't wait for the next time I've seen. <laughs> I stream got scared by that. I can imagine. Um, can't wait for that. He says I promise I won't do it again. Can't wait for his, his Blair Witch moment where he's in the corner looking away and his head s spins around. He's got blood and flies coming out of his eyes or something. Yes, I, Im I imagine, yes, that uh, that was quite the uh, experience for the streamers. I can also imagine there was some that were just not scared and everyone was very surprised by it. I wouldn't be surprised with my reaction to scares. But this fellow, in VHS tapes, says it perfectly for all the flick. Probably just a prank. Probably, yeah, by you. I mean, it's coming just a video. Yeah, it's pranked by you, you bloody bastard. Now get out of here, you prick. Face the reality elsewhere. Stupid man. Trying to scare a young lass at this time of night. Irresponsible. I don't know what we're doing tonight. I probably should have checked the book. Some people just don't understand tact. Appropriateness. Wow, this mysterious manager is something, eh? Well, at least they're very specific about what they want. I'm glad. It does usually... Now I have to get stock out from the back, but it is usually quite nice. It's always a bit of a pain when a manager is a bit wishy-washy, or... I've got the door open. Oof. Perfected this formula. Yeah. I think it was a bit more polished night here, but I, I like the, the vibe, I suppose. Nothing's really happened to this one. Night shift, it happened a lot quicker, I think. Yes, interesting to play an older game, though. I knew this was the most... This is kind of the one that started it all, you know? So I'm not entirely against it being a bit more, sort of...
There we go. We're locked in. Lovely. Oh, for God's sake. The damn ghosts! <sighs> well, these damn ghosts, I swear. Very rude. This ghost is currently just very mischievous. What a mischievous cheeky, mischievous sort, eh? Thinks he's something else, does he? Also, it worries me that we grab these sushi rolls from... A, a room that doesn't appear to be refrigerated? That's a bit worrying. Oh, look at this fellow! Looks like he's either about to start gutting a fish, or he's about to start the next... Drop the next greatest album. Oh, how it does. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. The boss seemed desperate in keeping food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. Just quickly check outside units and head right out. Radio. Fair enough. Must be summer. I guess it is the rainy season, maybe. I'm just... It's cold right now where I am, but... <gasps> the rain was inside from over there. That was spooky. I recognize what they think. It wasn't a weird bum bag, it was a mask. Which makes sense when you're working with old buildings. Oh, what's this? Who knows? Frozen food, probably. Done. This fruit tea is... Not really tea. It's got a tea, slight tea-ness to it. It's a bit of a fruity to say. But it's certainly a lot sweeter than I'd expect from a fruit tea that I'd make myself. Goodness. Kakigori. Yeah, this all seems summer-based, so... More than I delivery of the game day life. Yes, I suppose it is a bit slow. We're not going to probably do multiple endings of this one, no. Might just do an hour-long stream. Guys, it's already been an hour, I think. So, pretty amazing. So, yes, yeah, so we've got Kakigori. Who are... Who are... Fluffy? What? So, throw, you know, shaved ice. Yeah, it's Fua Fua. Fluffy shaved ice. Natsu no wo medon. Candy. Candy. So, summer, summer's watermelon, something like, something bread, watermelon bread maybe, kyan patsu. Natsu no kyan, pan, kyan pan, is that pan or so? Pan. Well, that would be weird, parcel. Yeah, so it must be pan, probably. Interesting. I always get confused between saw and pan because they're very similar. Saw and n, mm, actually. Ah, oh, yeah, you know, doing a lot better than me, Psycho Game Man 37. I live in this bloody country and I'm still awful at this sort of thing. Samba campaign, that makes sense. Kanban. That's actually probably the weakest thing, because at least with with just Japanese, you can kind of remember things, but with them trying to be English, there is no specific meaning. They just you're just hoping you can figure out what English word they're going for, what French word they're going for, what German word they're going for. You know, if somebody hadn't told me, I would have never guessed Arubaito meant part-time job, because it's part of the German word. It's like a demonization of the German word. And at last, yes. Hey, are you the only one working here? Uh, yes. I can't believe this. What kind of mensch? I put a girl on midnight shift alone. Well, this is a very different type of Karen. I see you have no choice. But at the very least, I'll give you my protection, job. Now be careful. Sure, why not? Sounds like fun.
Yeah, summer campaigns. And this is during summer. I suppose why they're saying not soon or what a minute. All these sort of summer stuff. Frozen, you know, shaved ice and all the like. So, uh, good to see the uh, sort of summery aesthetic. Which is a curiously common setting for horror stories in Japan, from what I've heard. Summer is the time of horror. Get down. Shh. Ow. These ghosts, I swear, it's more kirena. Kireni. Kite papaiki. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, yeah. Bloody ghost. Cheeky little thing. So damn rude. I was typing on the computer with this very loud mechanical keyboard. Hey? Very rude. Hope she at least buys something. Bloody invisible ghost woman. Come on, where are you? Oh, come on. Put out the damn talismans. Very rude. Am I supposed to put these on? Can't we clean up the actual stuff we should clean up? Oh, God's sake. The candy bars are on the floor. Yes, my horrifying haunted candy bars. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? I'm gonna leave you there. Talisman's given to me by a spooky ghost who are not usually the most ideal thing to be carrying around at night. But we'll at least clean them up. Come on, Lask. Clean up the actual floor, though. This is probably more important. No, no, of course, the spooky ghost is what we have to deal with. Where do I put the spooky talismans? Just carry them around as he's mine now. Oh, it's that. Oh, a wrench! Did I just open an AC unit? I have a key! What's the key for? It's magic, it glows blue. Why does this key glow blue? Aoi Kaki. Aoi Kaki. Hmm. Open any of these things. What does the blue key open? What are you for, shiny blue key? Are you the keys to the kingdom? Keys to my heart? Adorable as that would be, I don't think that's the case. I don't remember anything being locked around here. The keys to the murder basement behind the store. Unrelated, I'm sure. We're really going to clean the floor of this store. It's looking really quite awful. There's a car out here we can break into. 
Cheat of the post box. Now. Can I do something with those candy bars? They call themselves talismans. <laughs> it does sort of seem like you got a candy bar texture from the Unity store and retextured as a as a talisman. It does sort of give that feeling, doesn't it? Oh, my talismans are gone. Good to know. Well, I'm sure there is nothing wrong with what's going on there. Ow, somebody's got to stop leaving open jugs of milk here. It's really quite disgusting. Yep, glad to say that too. I should clear the point. Anyway, let's see where this key opens. Well, yes. <laughs> but, you know, my boss didn't tell me to clear the store, and I do not do anything I am not specifically... Oh, God damn it. You damn spooky ghost! Stop ruining stuff. You really... This ghost, I swear. She is absolute menace. Really Dennis the Menace, this ghost. Yeah, I don't need to tell us, Vince. I'll just take keys. Thank you very much. What a menace. Who needs talisman when he's got a key? I'm sure this will end well for me. Flashlight. Ooh, a spooky outhouse. A tricky ghost, yes. Sounds like a good time. Let's get some talismans. <laughs> Just stick them all over the door and be done with it. I didn't see anything. Well. 99. Not my problem. It sucks to be you. You got your comeuppance. I told you you'd be Blair Witched. I told you. I was right. You cheeky sod. Absolutely not my problem. Oh no, the rats! And the VHSs! Is there any other- can I do anything else except for walk into this room? And back to work. Is that a ghost? Can we just go back to work? That'd be hilarious. I'm gonna- I'm gonna refuse the call to adventure. The call to adventure in horror movies only ends poorly. You can't make me a ghost. Well, back to work. I'm sure that corpse is nothing to be worried about. He was an ass anyway. <laughs> nah. Just sit and watch the CTV footage, I'd know. I'm gonna have to go and look at that dead body, aren't I? Oh, lass. Couldn't have happened to a better person. The, the ghost taking his eyes out and all that. Couldn't have happened to a better person. I guess I'll go bloody... Put the bloody fellow to rest. Fine. Not allowing me to just go unconscious and go to the next day. So I guess I'll go... I don't know. Say hi to him. Oh, that was the manager. Hello. I didn't know. <laughs> Can I? Oh, God damn it. Shut up in here. I'm on the toilet. Don't you know? This is like a weird outhouse or something. Why is all the cords here? Wait! Shush! 
I'm trying to exercise. I'm trying to do his final rites. Oh, the fellow's a. Oh, hello. Good morning. How are you? I see you're not doing too well. I don't think you see me, though. Oi. Oh. Okay. Damn, expired food's a hell of a drug. What a nightmare. Was it on a tree, bud? Sure. If he's alive when we get there, it'll be all a dream. But if your manager is not there, who the hell's gonna pay you? He better not be dead. We need that third of things people do to escape work. Yeah, absolute coward. When did that get there? Alright, well. Show me. Bloody boss trying to get out of paying me by cutting his own eyes out. Yeah, I see you. Maybe you'll see me, but that doesn't mean I'm not legally allowed to still be paid. Oi. I wonder what happens if we don't put the talismans on the door. Do you think? Do you think if we don't put the talismans on the door, do you think it'll, um... The ghost would have gotten in and would have died. Oh well, I'm sure there's nothing to it. Our manager is probably dead, but you know, who hasn't wanted wish death wanted death on their manager? Especially that guy. That fellow was a prick. But was the whole game is a rotten food trip. That was some seriously rotten food. What the hell did you eat? Did you eat bloody monkey booze? What was going on? Did the apples in the apple section get so rotten they became monkey boobs? Did somebody accidentally get bloody shiitake mushrooms mixed up with psychedelic shrooms? What's going on? Let's go to this person's yard. Oh, I can cut through this person's yard. Nice. Hooray! Follow the lights. That don't work. Because... I don't know why they don't work. Sprint at me. No? Ah, oh, that would've been such a good thing. That would've been a good scare. Come on. Pick it up. And the old homeless man. I gave him food to save us, and he hasn't saved me. The damn homeless man. Okay. Guess the manager's dead. Good to know. Why am I here? If the manager's dead, I really don't think there's much to do. Uh, okay. Well, let's go check if somebody found him in the morning. I think those eyes will be doing a lot worse these days. They don't have like well, like we're gonna be in a store. Those show those trips, let me tell you, they don't make you live the hell of a convenience store. Fair enough. But maybe I don't know. They always talk about bad trips. Maybe that's one of them. <laughs> wow, I didn't know we started selling CV CTV. CT Yeah. I that screw it. CRTs, there we are. I really do hate when customers come and start dropping building pegs everywhere. Bloody girder pegs. And start making the sounds of construction. What the hell is haunting this? Am I being haunted by a woman, a child, or the ghost of a construction site? What is going on here? It's all these bloody iron rivets. They're not rivets, but you get the point. They're sort of usually for metal buildings, but... I'm very rude. But, you know, this is quite convenient. A bit of a... a bit of a... Uh... Yes. Bit of an interesting choice. Ow. Whoa. 
Interesting. But, you know, selling CRTs, are, it, it's an interesting choice for a convenience store, but, you know, maybe to pay off. At least we have the lady seductively sucking on a lollipop and the tiny child, Owen, our favorite, Austin Lee, and an old lady that looks very young. You're hunted by Dennis the Memphis. You're playing as Mr. Wilson all this time. Oh, I'd be in much more physical pain if I was Dennis the Menace and Mr. Wilson. I'm in significantly less pain. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the toilet. Oh no! Oh no, the true horror! The flush is gone! The bidet! The bidet is gone! Oh no! Oh god! What has the world come to? What has it come to, bloody smoking panda? Oh god! The bidet is gone! Ghost, how could you do this, you horrid creature? Hey, the cleaning all of this is physical enough. Wait, there's one to start. What? Seems to turn off when I turn on three. You see the uh, CCTV? I'm sure this will solve my problems. I was hoping another magical lens would change everything. Oh, there's a child. Hey kid, how are you? Oh, what are you doing? Do I have to turn the TV on here in front of? Okay. Still do that, no. oh, excuse me. Don't go to my blind spot, kid. I can't see you back there. Up oh, there he is. Okay, there was like... It was this one? I told you, Dennis! Oh, Dennis the Dennis? Ah, dang it. Okay, yep, yeah, okay, that was right. Dennis, show me the way. Show me the spooky ghost way. Maybe I'll get get my bidet back. Maybe it's the middle one, not the top one. Dang it! Get back on the canvas. Move faster, video game. Hmm. 
it was like hard to see. Ah, so how's everyone been as we watch Dennis slowly walk around the store again? You know, if he had lasers coming out of his eyes, it would be a lot easier to see what he was looking at. Just saying. He's looking at the one at the bottom. Second. Second row. From the back. On the left. The next one he looked at sort of there at the bottom as well. Okay, we have FNAF at home. FNAF at home, yes. A lot less frightening when there's not giant animatronics running about the place. Wait, no, that's not the one I want. I don't remember any of the things, but you know what? That was either this one? Perspective is hard. Perspective is very difficult. Ah, oh, yes, we still got one more here, don't we? I think this one's probably the easiest one. Daggett. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I guess we're looking at the CCTV cameras again. Yes, I know you're looking up, but you're short, kid. There's all three of them are above you. Let's just keep pressing ones around that until something happens. Keep <laughs> at the same time. Hmm. I wish I could turn them off once I turn them on. Oh, what? Is that a glitch? Okay. I said, well, no, it must be glitch or something. Hmm, okay. Still no sound on that one. Um, right. Oh, 
that one also does not. Hmm. Okay. We've got two without sound. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe they did make it a lot easier. You can just kind of go around the area until you find the looking... Well, yeah. Okay, that one has no sound. How did I not notice this? Alright. Remember DVD players? Y yes. I remember DVD players. I can't remember where he was in this aisle. Give me a nostalgia trip. <laughs> the kid standing in this damn aisle the camera here was looking in this way I thought it would be one of these that's all five yep oh dang it I forgot where the other invisible see up the uh Soundless TRTs, but I don't know what no would. Come on, kid. Pick up the pace. Come on. Walk faster than that, goodness. Let's try this now. This is a puzzle and a half. Good God. I will still make sound though. Maybe it was just a glitch. That one has none. That one has none. And this one has none. So where's the final one? See, these three don't make any noise at all. But... That one still does. Okay. I've got all four and it hasn't buzzed at me, so... I can't use CCTV anymore. I'm loving the sound of construction. What have I done? Turn all the TVs and see what happens. 
Oh, hi, kid. Oh, you. She is tall. God damn. She sees the size of that lass. Goodness, she was built like a brick shit house. Well, oh, come on. Just haunted by a ghost. Excuse me. Okay, come on, goodness. Wait. Both not. That last was built. Didn't see it from the size of the camera, but goodness. Built like an absolute. If I watch it, do I die? Oh, curiosity killed the ghetto. <laughs> Are you sure I didn't notice it asked me that? No, I suppose. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Clearly there's two endings. One, send the curse to somebody else. Two... I guess I'm not sure. Bin it. Oh, three endings. We got bin it. Watch it. And send it. Or walk out into the night and get eaten by a ghost, perhaps. Maybe that's another one. Head back to work. Let's go to work. And they gave up and threw you the next day, did it? <laughs> Fair enough. Bennett? Yeah, sounds like right. Bennett, mate. Yeah, mate. Bennett. I'm sure this only can end well. Yeah, that's right. Get trashed, mate. Where you belong, you tall lady. Ah, probably should have thrown the trash out immediately, Lice. You're not supposed to keep it in your bin. Now a tall lady is going to crawl out of your bin. Like a particularly angry huntsman. Can't move. Oh, sleep paralysis. Very nice. I've never had sleep paralysis. Trash VHS. Can't even see it. I guess burnable or unburnable garbage? Oof. Probably unburnable, but then again, a lot of things are a lot more burnable than I was expecting. I told you she'd crawl out of your bloody bin. This is why you should... Previously, I thought trash was unburnable. I thought, oh, not trash, uh, plastics were unburnable. Turns out they're burnable. I wouldn't burn them, though. They're, like, one of the main causes of a carcinogen, so... Great, but c'est la vie, I suppose. So, uh, burnable garbage, I'd say, ghosts. <laughs> I'd say, uh, burnable garbage. And that's what happens if you don't burn it fast enough. Should have taken the trash out, lass. Mistakes were made. She might end me, but she's on the trash. Yeah. Trinity didn't crawl out of the trash like a huntsman with vendetta. Oh. Wow, that almost lasted us two hours. Crazy. That's the third time you've put Ch Patreon in this bloody... Credits, Shilazart, calm down. I know you weren't making as much money back then, but calm your farm. Calm your farm, man. Oh dear. Dear oh dear. Ugh. Ding. 
I'm never doing this again. I know if it's gonna make me go all the way to the end, absolutely not. I'll survive. Yes! Oh, that was a game and a half. <laughs> that was one of the games that existed. Wait, there's another achievement of helping the homeless? Oh, I've helped the homeless. Oh, I've got the achievement. The only one I haven't got is ending one. Which I guess... I guess there's two ending twos? I think if you bin it... Or you watch it, you get eaten. But if you send it to somebody else, you're fine. Point is, you can't send it to a random house. I can't just... Well, I guess I can, but in most cases, the packages want you to have a name on them because it's stupid at the world. I'm the other woman you woke up from, rotten food truck. Yes. Oh, awake. Oh, 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 oh. What a terrible nightmare. Caused by the bloody monkey booze I consumed on the way home from work. <laughs> it is an interesting thing, though. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I slept a lot last night. I'm still apparently want to sleep some more. Goodness. Oh my goodness, the sun's out. Sorry, I just looked at the... The sun's out. Oh. Yes, that certainly does feel like it hasn't got quite the polish of it. Nobody's out except the orchids. <laughs> yes. And hopefully still that boss, because he was a bit of an ass. So... You just don't do that to a person. It's just not tactful whatsoever. It's It can be funny, but you don't do those sort of scares unless you know the person personally. Not, it's not something you... I've never understood hazing. Because it's not something you do to somebody who's new. You should haze your friends that you already know. Because at least then they'll take it well. If it's just these random people you have no idea about, you don't have any idea if they're kind or unkind, if this is a vicious thing or a fun, practical joke. No, your little girl the girl spent days on the toilet. <laughs> uh, I actually happen to be getting issues with guts recently. You know, sometimes my girl will be like, give us some bad smells, otherwise I'm fun. I'm surprised. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, I hope the pay was worth it, lass. You got eaten by a ghost in your sleep, so... Well, not in your sleep, but you get the point. Hope it was worth it, lass. That 13 an hour in 2005 or whatever it was. Hard to tell. I owned a CRT until 2010. <laughs> So, maybe it's just me. He's a punch of the kidneys, you can't imagine. Weesh. Dear oh dear. Dear oh dear. Ah, oh, well. We did relatively well, I think. <laughs> My Twitter page still says I'm on the Japan hiatus. I just realized. I should just change it to in Japan. The channel skipping your over where getting works work too well. Actually. So I've changed it now. Just give me a moment. Okay. Oh, worked a bit too well, certainly did. Certainly did work too well. Ah, well. We've all worked our fair share of night shifts in our time, and luckily, my... Well, actually, unfortunately, my boss was never consumed by a ghost at, after one of his shifts, so... Dang. Really would have made my life a hell of a lot easier if my boss was consumed by a ghost. Real shame that those ghosts don't seem to get to Australia. That'd been real convenient. Because I don't know, then you get your the co-workers you don't like accidentally cursed, and then you won't have to deal with them. It'd be great. 
At most, they'll have to stop working because they'll be terribly maimed, and at, at best, um... At best, they'll be, you know, at, you know, at worst, they'll be scared, and at best, they'll be terribly maimed or killed, and they won't be able to work either way, so... That's the kind of hazing I want to do. Get those ghosts up in here, mate. That'll work out well for us. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Maybe my bo previous bosses better be glad they didn't have any ghosts around. Because, mate, that would have been a time. You have no idea how many people I would have cursed if I could. But unfortunately, so far, my life experience has told me ghosts and curses don't exist. But it's still fun to imagine. It won't stop me from going to haunted locations. In my free time, this, especially this year, I've really got to see if I can find some. We'll have to look for some haunted locations now. How many Japanese ghosts have I found? Currently, I've only found a heap of abandoned shrines. Which are fun, granted, but no ghosts currently. Hmm... You know what? I'll have to look them up. I'm sure there's some in the prefecture I'm around, so maybe that'll be what I do during summer. It's a nighttime activity, keeps us cool, it's quite nice, even don't have to work in the heat of the sun. So maybe we'll go ghost hunting. Sounds dangerous, sounds stupid. But, you know, it's fun. Da -da -da. <laughs> and I'll report to you afterwards. Uh, I'm not going to make a promise that I'll play another ghost game if I see an E in this <laughs> last scene live. Ghost hunting. Um, I'm not going to make a claim that we won't play another ghost game until I see a real life ghost because I'm not that stupid. Um, I know how much people love watching people play ghost games. I'm just a miserable son of a bitch who can't get scared from ghost games. So... Woo! Yes. So I'll see you live on the 16th of April, 2023, claiming that he will go find ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. Instead, he just found an actual Yakuza and went, Oh, wow, I can do that stream now! and was shot to death. <laughs> and was beaten to death with a metal pipe. It was the Yakuza in the dark forest with the metal pipe. Um, viciously protecting his illegal crop. I'm not too sure. I don't know what he'd be doing, but who knows. What a what a game of Cluedo that would be. Let's have the haunted game of Cluedo, where we're trying to guess what kind of ghost it is. Like a, like a board game version of Phasmophobia. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. Somebody should do that. A board game version of Phasmophobia. It's go around each room and you're trying to figure out. Does, does, does the magic thing box, talking box work in this room? No. Does the magic talking box work in that room? No. Does it work at all? Who knows? At the game of Cluedo for you. Except ghost Cluedo. Phasma Cluedo. <laughs> A little god descends in front of me. Until Kratos himself comes and slaps me in the face. I will not play another God of War game. I will not play another drinking game until a bottle of alcohol- Oh wait a second, there's a bottle of alcohol literally right in front of me. I've really got to stop putting stuff on shelves that I realised. There are earthquakes in this country. If I have a large earthquake, all those bottles are going down. Probably. I don't know how it works. Maybe I'll put like a guard up so they don't slide off. Who knows? We'll have to see. Yes. Anyway. That had lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. I can <laughs> never guess how long these Chillers Art games are going to be. <laughs> Sometimes they can be really quite long. Sometimes they can be really quite long. But, anyway. Who knows? I suppose we'll end up there. Easier than I Thank you all for watching. You got audience. Thanks for Psycho Met. 
Psycho G Man 37 for uh, helping me with all the katakana that I'm always so awful at. I know I live here, doesn't mean I can speak the language. Um, hopefully, over the next year, you'll see my language dramatically improve. Or it won't. Who knows? But as always, uh, see, remember, rotten food is bad for you. It is. It's a good piece of advice. Do not have rotten food, except when it's actually a delicacy. No worries, I'm just a weeb. A better weeb than I. And I live here. <laughs> um, not for very long. Not not for as long as many, but yeah, it's point is. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Good audience as always. I do not know when we will stream next. Just keep an eye out. I'm sure it'll pop up. You know, subscribe and put notifications on or whatever the bloody hell it is. You know, put the little bell thing on. There you go. Proper YouTuber right there. But otherwise, as always, good night. Sleep tight. And the, remember, the Ghost DVD is not burnable trash. And she will bite. <laughs> Howdy night.